So welcome to my living room. Today we are going to watch Maddie's edit that is going to be eight years old this year, which is kind of crazy. In nine months, you actually put up in December of 2015. It's about to be eight years old and I watched it just yesterday and I was blown away by how good you were back then. Like you were way better than I thought you were when you were that young. Cause you think about it, that <laughs> eight, almost eight years ago. How old were you, 17, something like yeah, that? Yeah, I just graduated high school. No, I don't think you did. Right? I, graduated you're 25 in 20, I graduated in 2015. So you graduated in 2015? I graduated that year. So there you go. That was December, right? So would have been, how does that work? You sure you graduated in 2015? In 2015, really? I graduated. So you were, you're saying you were 18 in that one? 2015? No, I was 17. So that, who graduates high school at 17? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, me. <laughs> how? How is that possible? How, how is that possible? Like, what's the I don't way around that? I graduated 17 now. Like, were you that much younger than everybody else? No, a lot of people were 17. But doesn't everybody graduate when they're 18? Uh-uh. I don't know. If it, maybe <laughs> some of you graduate when you're 17, you guys can speak up. Maybe Maddie's probably confused on the dates. I'm just saying, it just doesn't add up to me. And I was so impressed on how good of a rider he was. And I'm not saying that, like, I thought he sucked, but I just don't remember. I was say, I'm not sure if I should take offense no, to that or not. No, I don't but... remember you being that good. And the, and the tricks that you did in this video, like there was some really impressive stuff that, that really stand the test of time in this one. So I don't know. I watched it and I was like, I, I think you haven't seen this video in a really long time. Well, and let I think me stop awesome you right watch. here. What would be really, really interesting is that when I went home over the past weekend, mm -hmm. I had to go on my old laptop. And I filmed two clips off of this video on my phone for myself oh, because wow. I actually forgot I did them and couldn't even believe I did them. Yeah, I already know which two clips it was. So though. it was just like, I forgot. I was like watching stop. clips and I'm like, I was like, what? I did that? When was this video? And, and then you brought it up wow. today and I was like, well, good. So cool. at least we'll be able to stop it then. And yeah. We'll figure it out because there's clips that I already like I watched and I'm like, we are stopping on these and we are 100% talking about them. So now that you have some, they're probably gonna be the same clips, but if not, we'll see. But okay. we're gonna start this video right now. Uh, not gonna be too loud with the music because he wanted to use this song by the Griswolds. Um, it's really what's it called? Griswolds. Heart of the Lion, right? Heart yeah. of the Lion, beating the drum. Mm -hmm. um, he loved that song at the time and yeah, got copywritten. So there's, of course. Uh, uh, they're getting the money for the ads, not Maddie, just to let you know. We don't wanna get this one copywritten again because you know this is kind of our job. <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna try to we'll keep it a little lower. Yeah, we're we're we, you know this video is gonna be acapella, so <laughs> get ready. <laughs> we're gonna you're gonna be listening to us the whole time. Yeah. But I think you understand. Um, if you were in our shoes, you'd be doing the same thing. So I'll keep the music to a minimum, and hopefully it doesn't get copywritten. But yeah, here's the video. Let's get this thing started. Nice little B-roll intro. Got lost self-filmed through the POV. skate park. This is what my bike looked like at the time. Yeah, a, I remember filming this <laughs> using the camera, <laughs> pointing to the side and stuff. And uh, yeah, I, I like how you put the incline club skate park thing here. That was cool. First trick, that was pretty. That was a pretty awesome move. That you was, did. The ninja see, drop in you know there. how awkward that was to do ninja drop and yeah, twist the bike around on the, on the inside of it. It was the wrong way ninja drop for yeah, it going that into that. Sense. I guess that would be a little weird. People would. It? it would be better for left hand because you could throw Wait, the you bike. You were using out. right. I was using right oh, hand. Oh, weird. So I the bike was almost that. behind me in a way. Yeah. So I had to jump out and over. Yeah, I noticed the way the bike spun into your yeah. foot actually. So that that makes sense. I wouldn't even think about doing it now. <laughs> I don't think already. I'd be like. Ah, that's not right. I'm yeah. not doing it. That's interesting. That <laughs> yeah. Did, so, all right, we'll see what else you got. A little Lucky the Tooth, brakeless in that Ooh, one. Oh, brakeless for the yep. one month that I probably did that. A little bar spin transfer. Um, this is a pretty cool line, flip no hander. You were nice. doing a lot of flips back then, which is probably was. a nice bar spin gap. I'm gonna pause it right here. I went to see the filmer. So that guy right there. <laughs> he doesn't look like he belongs <laughs> to the skate park. <laughs> I don't and, uh, even know if he does. Like, <laughs> no, he does. I'm surprised he was here filming this for you. I don't know why out of everybody you picked him, but yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, tell everybody, that's your friend. Go that's ahead. one of my best friends. That, his name's Kyle, and we've been friends since kindergarten. And <laughs> uh, me and Kyle pretty much used to hang out every single day of our lives. And I think he had access to his dad's camera at oh, the time, okay. too. So it was like, hey, you want to come test out that camera? I'm trying to film a video mm. or... And uh, that's, I think that's kind of how we got the two angles because I only had one okay. camera at the time. 
So I think that's how we were able to film a double angle. Well, I guess I guess that makes a little bit more sense. I was wondering why he was there because yeah. he used to uh, he used to race BMX. He used to freestyle BMX. Yeah, he's done it all, and this dude has gotten hurt severely at everything he's ever done. But he's he's oddly very good at riding bikes though, which is weird. No, like, he's talented, he's, but everything he does, he always gets hurt severely. Injured. Yeah, yeah. You, um, what did he do? Uh, snowboarding uh, trip. What was that? The femur, first right? snowboarding trip. Snapped his femur. Snapped his femur. Yep. Um, um, what about the one, I think it was either our skate park, right? When he first came there, he jumped the spine and he got like, uh, didn't he like get like I think uh, it, internal I bleeding? Hit, hit something. Didn't yeah, he like yeah, yeah. I don't remember what it was, like, it was but he hurt bad. something. It wasn't, it wasn't good. It wasn't good at oh, all. Oh, I got a quick story. We went to Ohio Dreams for a contest once and during practice, the night before the contest, me and Kyle are pumping around the skate park. I jumped the box jump. He rolls up the box jump backwards and we collide wow. in midair. And uh, my dad thought it was the end of the contest day for me. He did, thought I wasn't going to ride. You, you did better than he did in the crash, right? He probably got hurt. He, no, he's like a brick wall. <laughs> On that one, he was like a brick wall. Right, I flipped right was. over him. <laughs> okay, yeah, so that was the guest filmer. We'll move on now. I like this clip a lot. That was pretty We're cool, wasn't it? We're this one right now. That clip is so good. The fact that you did that gap bar spin to foot jam on that, no hops at all. It was just perfect. Like you, you landed so textbook and that's difficult. It's set back. Yeah. Like when you do a foot jam, you go up and you go down. So you doing a bar spin and transferring and carving at the same time and then it having the balance to stop. It was pretty steep as well. The quarter pipe that you take oh. off of was pretty steep it to was, get yeah, the, the transfer up to it. It was steep. pretty tough. Mm. I think I liked it because you had so much time. Like you had so much time to float up to the it, top. It so makes I think sense, it it but just like that's really a very well. uncommon combination like yeah. I, I was just really surprised to see it i really was but yeah definitely an awesome trick nice little box jump line oh this trick we're, we're rewinding this one straight away I haven't done that one in a while <laughs> i don't even i this one really snuck up on me where i was like what the heck is how did this make it into the video so early and out of everything that was filmed double angle and what and like if yeah. Kyle had to be there for anything, if I had to be there for anything, because I, I actually have a couple clips I have in here. <laughs> why not that one? I don't, why did you I, just do one static shot from like all the way in the back? I don't know why. I don't even think I thought it was that cool of a trick at the time. I, I thought it was no just way. like, yeah, like, I thought it was just kind of like a, like, oh, I think I could do that, you know? That is a 360 double bar spin, straight throw, no catch. And then he catches it and does a late X up out of it. Like that is, that's a serious move right there. And the fact that that was like somewhere in between with not a double angle, like I was pretty bummed about and that. And this was coming off the confidence of throwing my first and only 360 triple truck. Yeah, which so is I, my fault by the way. I, yeah, I that. <laughs> that's the only I'll reason I did I'll get the clip that. from Maddie and I'll throw it in here as a bonus one right now. Yeah. But yeah, he was trying to do something for the Monster Energy, was it the Monster Army? I think it was the, a Monster Army The triple truck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was the, and he, he, the like, he made it into you know, the, the pro one mm -hmm. the next day. And he was like, what should I do? I was like, dude, I got the trick for you. I was like, you can do double trucks. You can do a triple truck driver. And he's like, what do you mean? I'm like, if you go in the foam pit, just throw it and wait. And he went in the foam pit, did it like first try. Mm -hmm. And then sure as heck, like two hours later, sent it over the box jump, which was absolutely insane yeah like it was it was amazing it was perfect and Worked like perfect <laughs> that trick is so rare like if you think about like ryan nyquist like that dude has been doing tr double trucks for for 20 something years yeah. like he he stops at the double truck like he doesn't yeah, do for some triples reason or that anything. extra bar spin is yeah is i that just much thought that longer, was just so wild you know? to me like just think he's the most comfortable person in the world at doing double truck drivers and he's and not like, casually and doing he was triple like, yeah, trucks huh? i'm stopping at two i mean i know he's done three before but i'm just saying like he's never like yeah. showed up at a contest and like okay today's the triple truck day mm -hmm. which i was surprised about so the fact that like you did it that day was insane. Yeah, so, best trick I ever done. So yeah, I just can't believe that trick was in there because that's a really good trick as well. But yeah, this next one's pretty cool though. The bars from bars from back on the sub. That was that was nice. A little fast plant 360 down. Um, this clip. What was with this one? I don't know. Oh, this was yeah the oh yeah the ninety little, whip, little 90 but it was whip. a cool little line. Oh, this is right when I put the free coaster on my bike. Yeah, so I, was I was very inspired. I was like, really surprised very to see inspired because that was a uh, very surprising. I had nowhere the free coaster, but this run's really cool. I, I like this one a lot. 
I thought this was pretty creative, especially using Suey this area fakey. so yeah. good because uh, you went back to it and, and did then the a fakey whip. whip. And I know you're pro at them now, but straight to pedals on that yeah, one. Yeah, like look at the way. Up. Yeah, the way you like came around mm -hmm. and just it, everything was perfect. The suey the fakey was perfect. The tail of the fakey was perfect. Like I was really. And then I probably didn't do a fakey whip from there on for the next. Yeah, because you made such a big deal of it. Whatever with amount of years. But, yeah. But either way, it was awesome. Um, and this next line is really cool. This one really snuck up on me. I saw you do the pegs, and I did not expect you to throw the bar spin in. That was a pretty big wall. And doing it out of a double peg, especially when you haven't really like you know, done that trick much, is pretty pretty I can't nuts. even think about doing it. Best feeling in the world. Yeah, nice big That is cable. something I could dream of right now. Yeah. Air in that quarter pipe. A little back a little flip can, can. can. I feel like that was the last time you've ever done that trick. Yeah, I haven't messed with that. Uh, nice oh, little nothing, nothing transfer, gap. which is which is a pretty sick move. This, this clip, I, I was surprised that, that I did yeah, this. Yeah, I was sick. You did the the, the no handed bar spin, uh, three sixty over, and then straight. That's into the three flip tricks. Flip. That's five tricks total. And that's this the clip that I run. filmed. I did this one. I, I filmed this one. This is my camera angle. And right then here. went over these box backwards. Yeah. Hit the bar to late suey. That was pretty crazy. We're gonna rewind this one because look how scary scary like the hands were on so that. That one. was the first clip that I filmed the other weekend um, on my phone. I sat there and I was like, oh, what really? the that heck? Was I was like, I did all those tricks in wow. one run? Bro, that's pretty, that's yeah. pretty wild, but I do miss those box. I miss the whole skateboard, but that's a whole nother story. Um, this next clip though, I love this one. And this was the second oh, one. Oh my this goodness. Second one. I was thinking, I'm like, man, whoever filmed that angle up top did really good. And then I see me up there, I was like, oh, okay, I get it. But man, this trick is so good. Look at that style on that one. Like it is, it's just, it's perfect. There, you, you just, couldn't have done it any better. I like barely remember doing that. At really? All. Yeah. It's, like, it, it's it's beautiful. Like you you let that bike drift down so far. So much. Ah, that's insane. Like, I guess at one point I had no that. hands on tweaking the bike. Yeah, a bar spin into that because it must have did it at the same time. Like I wouldn't have caught and then dipped. The bike down? I would do yeah. it at the same time. So you know at one it? point there was no hands on the bike. That's the that was the Dave Mira move right there. Dave Mira used to throw the bar spin and catch it like that. Yeah. So. Pretty cool seeing you do that one, but man, the way you threw that bike down and you twisted your body up, yeah, that's what made the difference of that one. Like, I, I can't believe you did that one, and I can't believe you committed as aggressively as you did yeah, on that one because yeah. it's a 10 foot and you're literally going I was straight. I a couple into feet it. out of a 10 foot quarter pipe, dipped down with mm -hmm. no hands for a second, scary going into a backseat. Absolutely, scary. I'm proud of that one, very proud of that yeah. one. All right, well, let's move on to the last and final trick. This one. Nice. Is so good. And this trick right here, was this one done with a front brake on? Yeah. So that you had to get a front brake. I had to get one. a front okay. brake just to do this. All right, because this trick is crazy. Yep. The, the, the flip suey, the reason why you get the front brake is because, I mean, he can explain. This is his, his riding. He'll tell you what happened. He's done it without it too, so. Yeah, spinning and flipping, um, you basically, you need the front brake. Otherwise, you're handlebars are gonna spin recklessly and you have zero control. So this trick came about because I've been doing suies for a really long time and then I went to the foam pit and I was like, how hard could a backflip suey be? As long as you pinch, like how big could it be? And I remember letting go and it felt so easy. Wow. And then when I went to go pull the bike in just a little bit, it ripped a bar spin oh. without even me, my hands touching it. When I went to go pull the flip book just a little bit, ripped a bar spin and I landed like, oh. like almost like X up bike in my chest pretty much like in the foam pit I was like whoa That's we need insane. the front brake so once I put the front brake on I remember doing it in the foam pit and I was like Pfft. wow I was like this is because this one's huge like your hands are so far off of the bike like it, it's humongous like I, I don't know I just remember seeing this clip like f since it's been so long and I was just so yeah blown away by how how well it was and like just thinking about you did that when you were 17 I was Think about that. That so was this happy is about nearly that. eight years ago that you did all these tricks. That's just nuts to me. Like I, 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 like I said, I didn't expect you to be this good that early. Like I totally forgot how good you were. There's a lot of amazing tricks, but I guess what I do owe it to you, though, the incline club. I was just saying, skate park you know what I mean? is literally. You had like this skate park. You had nothing to do but ride your bike yeah. at this point. You were, you know. Well, you grew, when I grew up there from. But, two years old till whatever. But at this point in your life, you were fully developed to the point where you were strong enough to be able to ride yeah. and do whatever you wanted to for the most part. Yeah. And you had the freedom of like not having responsibilities. You know, you didn't have like stuff to pay for or anything like that. You were able to ride yeah. whenever you wanted to, however long you wanted to. And having that skate park was just, man, the best. Like 
it, it still kills me. Like it's been what since it was, it's going to be five years or it's going to be six years. It was two, the first day of 2018. Okay. So it would be 19, 20, 21, 22, five 23. Years. So it's, it's five years now, five years that the incline clubs close. That's, ridiculous I, I it, it's, it's amazing how blessed we were it, it yeah for that long but it, it breaks my heart that that place is gone it, like it still feels like a place that like it's just so deep within my identity like i just yeah i just feel so weird about it being it almost gone. feels fake huh it does it does almost kind of feels like it was like kind of like a weird video game in a I way or like you. a video game map mm -hmm. in a way you know and it's like like wait you're telling me we rode a private skate yep. park pretty much for every day years, of our life for this years. long, like, you know? It it's kills like, me. Like, it, it's yeah. the, it's the, it, when I really think about it and I realize that it's gone, like, yeah. it, oh my, it, it hurts it's for like, sure. it tears my heart out. Like, I, I think about it, you know, a decent amount, but like he said, like, it feels fake. It really does. Like, I, it feels like a simulation. Like, I yeah. felt like it was just like a, a thing that we experienced like just flew just, by oh, like it's just like a blip in your life yeah. and then it's it's gone now and it's like and like at the time there's so much that went into the reason why that skate park's not there anymore like a uh, big part of it was my injury we found out that the skate park was we weren't going to be able to renew the lease um like a month and a half before the skate park closed so we had no time to come up with a backup plan or anything and new jersey's so expensive it, there's so much i can tell you all about it it's it's crazy and it's just I'm so grateful for the time we had, mm -hmm. but it's just so crazy to me that like it ended like that, like something that was so important just disappeared and it's gone. It's so, so nuts, but yeah. Thanks to mom and dad yeah, for making that happen. Yeah, you guys no, crushed it. I, it's for a unbelievable long time. that it's my dad pulled it off. Unbelievable. I, I can't, I can't even fathom how he was able to make that happen. And I'm so grateful for it. I mean, like we wouldn't be in this literally in this living room right now if it wasn't for him. <laughs> Yeah, um, that's the know, truth. And, and like, I, I wish there was a way that, like, I could show my appreciation more for them besides just thanking them. Like, it's just, yeah. it's just so, it's, it's amazing. And the, the amount of people's lives that, that they affected. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. Like, just it's think of, like, the, the chance of Garrett Reynolds being Garrett Reynolds right now, like, without could having Could be totally club, different. Everything could be totally different. That. You know, like, he, he was literally, like, coming to my skate park. Like, you remember, like, learning bar spins there. Like, that's nuts. Yeah. Uh, like, I want to do a video where we just talk about all the Incline Club stuff. I want to do it like a podcast and just kind of just ramble on. I would love to get my dad to sit down with us too and just get him. I've got my whole book that we could still open up. Which one do you mean? So when the skate park closed down, I stole pretty much. I doubt you stole it, to be honest with you. Well, I didn't steal it. I've taken just about any piece of memorabilia you could possibly imagine from skate park. Wow. From the side of the box jump, there's no backflip signs poster. Mm -hmm. I have that. I probably have all those stickers right there. I have wow. sheets and stickers from the 18 foot. Cool I have see. every waiver, well, not every waiver, but <laughs> said, the fresh waivers. 50,000 waivers. I have <laughs> the random certificates, every sticker, every poster, every event, CDs, you name it. I have anything, wow. any piece of memorabilia. From I, I wish I'd kept more myself. Yeah. I mean, I have some stuff and like uh, the memories I'm grateful for, but man, like I said, it's just so weird that it's gone. But yeah, either way, Matt, this edit was awesome. I am so impressed with how good you were then. I mean, you're still really good now, but I do wish that we had a skate park like that because I couldn't even imagine the stuff that you'd be capable yeah, of Yeah, sometimes now. I look at it, I'm like, dang, I can't do that anymore. I was like, but at the same time, I was like, we just don't have access yeah. to these things. And having that skate park, it's hard not to be doing tricks sure. like that, you know? Mm -hmm. When you look at, you know, not that we have bad skate parks, but no, the but skate the, parks the, that we have the, now is totally different, just you know? Everything becomes normalized it's, because it's just, it's there. Like, I think, it, I think it's still in there. If these tricks need to oh, come out, they'll no come out. no doubt about it. No doubt about it. We can make it, it happen. <laughs> yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video of doing a little, I don't know, look back on Maddie's riding. And yeah. yeah, that was fun. And we ended up talking about a lot of things I didn't expect to. So, yeah, that's it for this one. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.